But when you do a round, there will be a difference between the question seen and the question solved. And the question solved can be divided into two kinds of experiences. One is those questions that got solved easily. And the other is those questions which you could not solve easily, but you could solve it after stretching yourself and with a lot of uh, thinking through the question. So you had to actually stretch yourself before you got through the answer. So you'll have questions you could not solve. Most maybe there'll be two kinds of questions. One will be questions which are absolutely far away from you. You can't understand anything written in the question. And the second is where you are uh, slightly closer to it. You can understand most of the things in the question, but something is not clicking, hence you're not getting to the answer. There'll be two kinds of questions there. Round one, just experience this. And what percentage of the questions you will be able to solve easily, what percentage of questions you'll solve with stretch, and the other two kinds, not getting any idea versus having an idea but not able to solve. The division of that amongst the 100% questions you've seen will depend on a few things. It depends on your level, it depends on your learning capacities in quants, it depends on your beliefs in quants. A lot of people I see, that they tell me that I don't believe in quants. So if you have that mindset, then nothing is going to happen. So you'll need to change that. And it also depends on the difficulty level, as I said, of the assignment you're picking up and your starting quantitative skills.